Here we are, gardening with Vincenzo. <clears throat> I'm over here with my tall garden, and I noticed that we had a couple monarch butterflies, but I see a different kind of butterfly over here <clears throat> on the Liartris, which is commonly referred to as the blazing star. And I see we have some real honeybees, not the black bees. Not the borer bees, but actual honeybees. And it looks like we have a couple baby ones on here too. You can see him flashing his wings over here. There he goes. See the tall ones, they like the hollyhock, they like this Liartris. Yes, they do. And he's over there looking at the Nikon Blue. Now that some of these balloon flowers and some of these other ones are coming on here. Let me see if I can get close up on the honeybee without disturbing them too much. They're up there. Hard to tell here. There we go. There he is right at the top of that. Yep, this is why I plant the tall ones here. You get the pollinators. And you need the pollinators. Yes, you do. There's a couple different... I think that's a uh, hummingbird moth there on the top of that one. And some other moths as well as butterflies. But definitely the honeybees. Oh, there's a... Yeah, I think that's a baby uh, hummingbird moth is actually what I think that is. I see them around here. They like the tall flowers, but they really like this blazing star. You can see them all over that thing. And that's in full bloom. It's one long spire of flowers. Just like uh, when the uh, hollyhock blooms up and they all open up. Yep, so here we are. Down here over in the tall garden. I think I'll stand up here. I see a couple of them here. Glad to see the honeybees. I see those hollyhocks that I plant that are starting to grow also. Nice different shades on these hollyhocks. I got a nice purple one here, some pink, and the other ones are pastel. And uh, these nodules that you see after the flower closes, they are seed clusters and definitely worth gathering if you plan on growing some hollyhocks. That's a perennial. I see we got some more here, some more honeybees, usually on the top of the spires. I'm always watchful, see what's working, what's not working. I try not to, I try to stay out of their way though, because I want them to uh, pollinate my other plants and vegetables. So you really need something to attract them. You know, they like the clover if you let the clover in your lawn, which I do from time to time. I try not to do the weed and feed and, you know, guaranteed to kill the clover. You know, the clover is okay. You keep them mowed tight, it'll be good. You know, if you let it come up a couple inches, you'll see the bees will be all over that clover. When you see the clover, honey, that's what they're talking about. Here's an interesting... I'm not sure what that is. That's a butterfly or is that a baby hummingbird moth? I can't tell. But I do see that the, there's a few honeybees here. They'll go back to the hive and they'll tell them what's here. They do their little dance. Gives them direction to the sun and everything. <laughs> yeah, amazing creatures. Amazing creatures. It's a shame what's going on. Apparently there's some parasite that was brought in from uh, Asia, I, is my understanding. It came over with uh, whatever they were shipping, 
And that's what started the decimation. I think that was in the uh, 70s. And it's spreading because there's a lot of uh, beekeepers that are losing their hives. You know, they just go out one day and they're just not there anymore. Yeah, the pesticides is not a good thing either, which is one of the reasons why I'm uh, rather reluctant to use the pesticides. It'll have to be something pretty dramatic. I didn't even spray pesticide on my uh, on my uh, vegetables down there that I have protected my cauliflower, and they're, they're in there ransacking that. It's just a shame. All right, this is another brief video here. I'm out in the in the yard in this sunshine another glorious day here in Middlesex Township Valencia all right be safe out there remember we can save this planet one yard at a time beginning with your own and with a lot of carbon tax you are what you eat and fresh is always best and grow as a person plant a garden I'm gonna do a pan over here because I want you to see this beautiful red lettuce <laughs> he's got a nice big mound over here I noticed him he's grown up very nicely and he looks just delicious. I can't wait to uh, do my clippers on him. And I see my basil's holding up real good. The mint, the parsley, these onions are... Oh, there's one going to see. We're going to have to harvest those. Got a few tomatoes. I'm looking forward to the tomatoes. I love fresh tomatoes. When I pick my tomatoes, I take a salt shaker with me. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. I eat them right there. <laughs> All right, everybody, it's Gardening with Vincenzo. Be safe out there.